Tonight, it really is a dark, cold, cold evening here in Hitchin Town Centre. And we're here at the Brooker's department store. Now, don't be fooled by this modern facade, because behind all this, it's a maze of corridors and rooms, different levels. Now, staff here have reported cigar smoke. They've reported cold spots, just a general uneasy feeling about being in the building on their own. So we're here to investigate, we've got the team back together. My name's Ray Cordell, this is Bev Kinsey. We are Haunted Hitchin. Are you locked up here? Could be. Oh, what was that? Have you been up these stairs before? Yes. Yes, yes. That's a definite yes. yes. This could be our most scariest haunted location to date. All sorts of paranormal activity has been happening here over the years. A toilet roll flew from behind me and hit my colleague. There's like an energy, uh, like an energy flow, like a flow of energy. It felt like there's somebody coming down the steps. A young child grabbed the back of my calf. Here we go again. Uh, magazines flew off the table. Used to come down here and have a crafty cigarette. <laughs> There was no one in the hotel at that time. Go into room six, you'll see uh, an image of the lady in blue. What was that? Over the years, we've had members of staff here. We've seen a ghostly figure walking through walls. We've had guests who say they've actually been touched by a spiritual being. What is actually going on here? We're haunted here, Jim. This part of the shop um, that we are standing in now was the shoe shop by the name of Spencer's, which we took over in about 1948. From this part, this pillar here, to the pillar beyond, uh, was the original shop, which our grandfather, great grandfather bought in about 1890. We're now in the third part of the building, which was the men's outfitters, Kirby's, and where we're standing is where a trapdoor was that allowed access to the basement underneath, which um, there are two rooms down there which people lived in these, um, in rather cramped quarters, I believe. From the pillar over to my left, um, and right the way through towards the back of this building was a row of cottages and another row was backing onto them so they were all very poorly built and were two up and two down cottages and uh, Old Blind Bob, the newspaper vendor of the 1950s, used to live in one of them. We're now in the basement of the front of the shop and this first part was under Spencer's and if we go through this way the second part that was the original uh, 1890s building and down the far end here we have a structure that was here long before we were which is the old tunnel that is uh, people say a myth but it is in fact the tunnel that goes from St Mary's Church to the Priory and this was built by the monks 
um, when the prior was put up and uh, you can see from the shape of it that it was a trench built behind the, the shops that were then existing and they then backfilled it afterwards. This part here was the basement of the um, men's outfitters shop and in these two rooms people used to live as there was a staircase access through a trapdoor in the floor from the shop above. In this back wall here, we, when we did some renovation, this renovation work, there was a, a piece of chalk in what was called classed as a clunch wall and on the, on the piece of chalk was carved, renovated in 1829 or thereabouts. It was here in the set cellar where I had my first experience of smelling cigar smoke, which was probably about 10 years ago. And probably about three occasions after that, but I haven't actually smelt it for about seven years now. So it's only in the cellar that I've ever actually sort of experienced anything, but most times that I come down here I do. I either get very cold um, with goosebumps, or one time in particular when I was working out here, um, which is the back of the cellar, the lights started flickering and it became really very cold in here, so I didn't stay for long because it was quite, uh, quite shocking. Um, but... Every time that I come down here, I feel a presence. Um, I feel it's a man, but that's just my gut feeling. Um, but it, I'm never down here for too long. Two stories above street level in what used to be our old tool department many, many years ago. Um, the recollection that I have of this building as it was an old drafty building that had creaky floorboards and lots of tiny little rooms that we used for storing engineering supplies at the time and during that time when we were moving from this building to a, a larger more modern building on the back we were working long hours and uh, sometimes people were up here on their own or nearly on their own and there were one or two members of staff who reported things that they weren't quite comfortable with nothing that they could necessarily put their finger on but sudden drafts, doors that seemingly were secure starting to bang and things like that. One of them went as far to refuse to, to work here, work in this part of the building after hours. We have no idea what might have caused any of that. We had no um, history of the building, but I guess the investigations that are going on with Hitchin TV might just throw something out. So we're in the highest point of the building now, um, almost two and a half storeys above street level in Bucklersbury. And we're in part of the building that used to belong to a gents outfitters called Waldocks, which I think from memory we purchased um, when the build business closed down in probably the late 70s. Um, and it was a, a three storey building. And throughout the, the period that we've had it, people have reported smelling what they thought was cigar smoke, but a further conversation with my father revealed that the, the gentleman, Mr Waldock, the owner and manager of the business, famously smoked a stinky old pipe. So there is speculation that there is some lingering sense of Mr Waldock still being in the building. Wow. Yeah, there's something happening there. There's something happening. We're actually quite near to the cellar door, so I think this is a good time to go down. There. I think we should go investigate down there. Yes. Okay, Charlotte. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, let me know. Oh, we're wow. stirring them up now. And it's going, it's going crazy there, yeah, man. Three lights are on. It hasn't gone off. Some activity on this one as well. Right, so we're now under the shop, and there's a real presence about this. Area. Yes, it, and since we've come down here, 
the EMF meter it's has been just on, been on three. Yeah. Yes, it's. I mean, it's it's not actually cold in here, or anything, is it? It's 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 low, very low ceilings. So we do bits of cooling out. Should we have some cooling yeah, out? Yeah. Okay. Is there anybody down here? Is there any spirit people down here that like to contact us? Make a sound, throw something, touch one of us. There's somebody down here. I think there is definitely somebody down here. There's definitely something happening with this on all the time. We've been, could be right next to us now. Is anyone around here? It's almost like a heartbeat. Yeah, it was. A, it was definitely some banging, wasn't it? Yeah. Getting activity on this one as well now. Is that you that made the sound? Did someone make a sound? Now they've been hearing footsteps. Yeah. That didn't sound like footsteps though. That was more, more so, banging. Yeah. If there's one down here, would you, can you make a noise? Can you make a bang? Sounds like someone trapped. That was definitely like... Yeah. Can you make a sound? This is relentless, it goes on further through here. Does it? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look at that. I'll turn the corner to see that. <laughs> It was like looking at myself in the mirror, Tony. <laughs> We've still got the three lights. Still three lights going. Now we're getting all sorts of activity on this one as well now, which is generally not as sensitive as the other EMF meter. So, have you still got something on there? Yeah, still on the three lights. Okay, should we be a bit have a bit of a quiet moment with her yeah. and see if um is there anyone down here with us? Can you make a sound? Can you make it louder? Can you do the banging louder? <gasps> Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh my God. Can you do it again for us, please? Thank you. It's there. It's there. What is that? Something's here. There's footsteps now. Can you hear that? Did you get that, Tony? Yeah. Come from above there. Who's in here with us? Please, we'll throw something. We're up to three on here. Up to three. Yeah. 
and this hasn't, the, the lights haven't gone out at all. It's full, full. Can you hear that? Yeah. Someone's here. So we can clearly hear footprints Is that and footsteps. It? And there's no one else in this shop. No. And there's nothing. Well, obviously the shop is above us, but there's nobody there's no in the in shop. There. Someone's here. And this hasn't stopped. Okay, so the spirit box session is about to start. We've just noticed the EMF uh, meter going crazy. So it's gone right to the, yeah. the red light there. We've got Doug with us as well. You might know Doug, he's been wandering around. I've been down here many times. Oh, oh that's a... Yeah. You see that? I didn't see it, no, is it? Going crazy. What's your name? It like it's a dog. I think it sounded like a dog. Before sound... you said what's your name, it said dog, didn't it? It sounded like it's a dog. Could he actually be a, a relative of yours? Could it be somebody? Um, people... Potentially, yes. My, my dad was talking about my great great grandfather who did a lot of the initial work and development on building this part of the business up. Do we have a name for him? Thomas, Thomas the second. Is that you Thomas? Is that you Thomas? Are you here? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Hold to go. <laughs> <laughs> Another naked man. Can't explain that. <laughs> the foot, the, I heard footsteps again. Yeah. Are you here with us now? Oh. Hello. Hello. Are you here with us now? Listen. Touch me or Bev or Doug. Are you looking at us? Wondering what we're doing? Someone here. Yeah. That's going mad. Yeah. Hello, is someone here? Is that a woman's voice? It sounded like a woman's voice. It yeah. did sound like a woman's voice, didn't it? Are you a lady who used, used to live here? It's going crazy again. It's going crazy. Can you tell us your name? Come here again. Hello? What's your name? Is that banging again? Ooh. That was a woman's voice. Mm. It's not clear, isn't it? It's two. Is it you with a cigarette smoke? Did you smoke a cigarette? Oh, that's really weird. Didn't touch me. Didn't touch me, George. Look, look at this. Oh, oh my word! Who, who is this? There's someone here checking us out. That's crazy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That's kind of unusual to get as, as many of that like that. Is it? Yeah. To yeah. get it right down, you yeah, know. Right. Put it. Put it up against you. See if it doesn't. No, it's gone. gone. It's gone. So it's nothing. It's so alive. It's there. It's so standing it's, in front of you. In front of you. All right. Who are you? Has it got colder? 
Mm, no, no, I'm good. Are you still here? I think you are. What's your name? Did you work here? That's that's a woman's voice. Mm. We're gonna go upstairs now. See what's up there. You're gonna follow us. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna follow us. Are you looking at us? Seeing what we're doing. Oh. Okay. So we're now upstairs above the main shop, and um, a totally different feel about this. Wait. Oh, and, oh and more action straight, straight away. away. Hello, who's this we got here? Someone here wants to say hello to us? Who are you? Is that Mr. Waldock? Yep. Get out. Mr. Waldock. I think that he's the guy who used to sort of talk. Oh, okay. Who, What's your name? Followed us upstairs. It's it's um. It sounds like there's so many more it's, people it's now. Really busy, yeah. Yeah. Who's who's here? What what's your name? What's your name? Max. Max. Something like that. Max. Oh. Did you say Max? That's a lady's voice. That's a lady's yeah. voice. Did you used to work here? Deep. I know we're quite near the road, but there seems to be a lot of banging on something going in there. Or is that just... Oh. Should we wander around? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. oh! Did you hear that? Yeah. That. That was, that was a lady. Yes. Hello. Oh, we know that we got a lady here. What's your name? That was a lady. A very clear lady's voice. A very amazing voice. Just asking the names and things. Is anyone here? There's massive rooms here. So we can't overplay this, we've come upstairs from downstairs and it's quite quiet and it's crazy up here. Yeah, it's it? crazy, it has to stop talking since we've... It sounds like we've got like up to 10 people here, maybe, voices. And Male, that... female. Yes. Yeah. Again, it sounds like Matt or Max. Matt or Max seems to come up all the time. Anyone here? Do you know Doug? Do you recognise me? Yeah. <laughs> 
The moment you go on the hill. Oh. Right, fire this up, Tony. Is there anyone here with us now? Yes. What's your name? What's your name? Come on, you can speak to us. Could the, could the lady come forward again? Hi. Hi. Hello. Who is this? Really chatting? Yeah. Hello? Who's this? Come on, you can speak to us. We don't mean you any harm. Hello? It sounded like, um... How many of you here with us? There sounded so many, it doesn't there? a lot of chat going on in the background. Well, the EMF meters seem to have stopped now. Who have we got here? But I can't hear that footsteps out there. Yeah, yeah. There's someone here. Who is this? Are you coming up, Tony? There's footsteps out there. There's someone here. There's someone out there. Hello? Who's this? Now, there's lots of people here. You can hear lots of there's, people. There's lots of people. There's even lots this of people. This is all like a meeting point or something. Hello? This is the room that the, the, the man would be in the room on his own. Right? Yeah. Or wouldn't be in this room, let alone on his own. And you can understand that, because no one was standing here. It's, there's not just so much going on. Yeah. There seems to be a lot going on out there as well. Yeah. There seems to be footsteps. Wow. Is that, you? Is that you making that, that noise outside there? Shout your name at us. You know who we are. Come on, you can speak to us. Is this Max or Matt? Are you still here? There's something out there. Do you want to go through there? Yeah, Who's that? Here. Who is that? Wait here, wait here. She did that earlier. Hello? Are you here with us now? There's a banging going on. Yeah. Now that I'm out here, it doesn't sound like... She did that earlier when we went through the doorway. Someone here. In the doorway? Yeah, she did. <gasps> Hello? Oh my God! Oh my God, what? It's a shadow. Oh! oh. There was someone Bev. there. Bev. Bev. All dead. What was that? What did you see? The shadow went down the stairs. Oh. Can you hear that noise again? The door just banged. The door just banged. That was Bev. 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 B
There's a lot of activity so going on around here. Around There's so much going on. Well, we've just calmed down. Yes, I mean, it's been an around. amazing evening. And I mean, thanks to Doug and the staff here at Brookers, it's been incredible. It's been great. Um, we've had lots of voices. On the spirit box. Yeah, that's we've had been door slamming. <laughs> Shadows. The EF meter just hasn't stopped flashing. This is definitely a place that we need to visit again at some point. But then you saw shadow? Yeah, I did. On the stairs, yeah, clear. And then when you saw shadow, then you, then that's when the, the door went. So, for now, from myself and Bev, uh, we are haunted hitching.